Hello, it is G. I am back. I am in a weird situation here because I am going to be talking to you about Halloween. But I thought I'd make it a little bit more interesting and I just sort of do a makeup tutorial kind of thing why I'm here because one of the big things that I found about doing Halloween costumes on the cheap is that makeup is a huge part of that. When I'm doing cosplay sometimes I'll have costumes where the makeup is 90% of the costume. So that's what I'm going to try and give a bash here but I don't actually know what I'm doing. I haven't decided 100% yet what I'm going to do um, but I think that's okay. I think we'll work it out as I go along. So now you've been lucky enough to see my ugly bare face. I am going to uh, start over with my makeup and you actually get to see how I do my generic makeup routine. I'm going to use like really thick coverage uh, foundation for this because I'm going to have loads of stuff going over the top. I'm going to do more exciting brows than usual because it's Halloween and why not? I think the makeup I'm going to do is kind of going to be vaguely based on my Halloween costume. Reaper from Overwatch. I'm doing an um, interesting version of him. Um, so I'm going to do his eyebrows because they're a bit fun. A lot of the uh, ways I'm going to be doing my makeup is going to be like making it more masculine because that's how I'm used to doing it. Um, one of the things I do for that is I thicken my eyebrows and to thicken my eyebrows I always go under than over because if you go over it makes your eyebrows look really weird. If you're feeling extra poor, a good idea is to just give up and just use eyeliner as eyebrow pencil. It can look way too dark. I also use eyeshadow, put like a white base down and then I'll just colour it with eyeshadow. You can see that if you look at my Moira costume that I did in May, that's all eyeshadow. Okay, so the best thing about eyebrows is that if you mess it up, you can just fix it with some concealer. I'm going to throw my contour on now. Don't start with cream contour, because that's what I did. And you cannot learn to contour with cream contour, because it's really hard to do. Um, but you can easily learn with the sticks. Um, I actually learned to contour with this stick. Any stick helps you learn to contour. Uh, I was very lucky that my sister bought me these really fancy ones last year. As for blending it, I'm going to use um, as my straight blender again for the eyebrows because it means that you can cut it really sharp like that. It did just push straight into my contour but we'll ignore that. And then for the rest of my makeup I'm going to blend it with this eggy one because it's easier to, um, it's easier to move the contour around. Twisting it generally works for me. It kind of makes it look more natural. So, ah, I got a powder contour kit and I also got my fangs in case I do decide to do some vampire stuff. When I do costume makeup I generally go over my contour with some powder as well because it just makes it Powder everything. This was a compressed powder, but I smashed it, so now it's loose. Um, highlighting is something that I absolutely adore. I really overdo my highlighter. That's fine though. So something that you'll see a lot in my videos is that I put eyeshadow on my eyes. I'm using a new palette this time, so I don't know if this colour is going to be too dark. But I'll always put a bit of purple in here. Yeah. And it just deepens the contour on your eye, um, so it makes your eyes look a lot more set in, which is very good if you want to look a bit vampire -y. I learned how to do this when I was actually cosplaying a vampire, so... So as I'm going to be doing Reaper anyway, I'm going to do some scars that he has, because that's a good way to start with FX stuff. Another saving money tip, buy in bulk. This is 120 shades and it cost me like four quid. My go-to is to just give it a bash when it comes to Halloween costumes and stuff. But yeah, I basically believe that you can do absolutely anything you want 
with a good reference and some basic, basic tools. Something that I find about scars is you have to work with the natural sort of contours of your face. So if you think that something's going to cut you across here, it's going to catch the nose and it's going to catch your cheekbone, but it won't necessarily catch here or here. You really need to sharpen them up with having some basic skin tone over the top. So you basically outline it. Basically you want to highlight them even more because scars are raised so you get some white and just dab it. Instead of doing lines it's harder to do lines, just dab it. Now I've got a few scars, um, they're not great but they'll do. Now I need to decide how spooky I'm making this but first of all I'm going to do some, I'm going to do a setting spray just because I've always used hairspray to set. It's horrendous for your skin, but it's very, very cheap. I think I want to go with the whole hole in the cheek thing. I've never done this before, so bear with me. This might go horrendously. I want to go for something like that, but it won't be that good, and it will be very glittery, because I fancy glitter. My golden rule when it comes to costumes is that it only has to look good from five feet away. This is a rule that a lot of cosplayers use because it means that we can get out of doing things properly. <laughs> you know, I taught you how to do scars, so who cares if I mess this up a bit. So once again, my camera is muted. And that's okay. It means that you guys didn't see the mess that I made by adding glitter. There we go. I think that'll do. It's about the best I'm gonna get. All I've done is super back comb my hair and throw on some fake blood because we love it. But yeah, essentially with fake blood, it's not about the price of the blood, it's about the positioning. You want to go out of the nose, generally, if you want to look dead. Also, uh, if you're gonna do it from a scratch, you have to paint the scratch on beforehand. If you're gonna do vampire bites, make sure you make them look all bruised because it's gonna look more realistic that way. And now I'm gonna try and put my teeth in. Happy Halloween all, and I will see you next time.